Another movie that you did uh, a while back, uh, Night Moves. Mm -hmm. Now, I read once that when you went in to interview for that film, you went in thinking it was going to be a modeling assignment. Mm -hmm. Was that true? Yeah. What was the scene like? Like, how did you find out that it was different? Well, they told me to wait and that I was going to meet with Arthur Penn and that I'd have to read this. And I went, read this? What do you mean, read this? <laughs> the modeling job, you don't have to read anything, you know? And I told them that I didn't want to be an actress. Yeah, well, I didn't, it was different for me as a child when you don't really understand why your mother's being made up all the time or gone, you mm -hmm. know? And, and especially with someone like Hitchcock, who was really in love with her, you know? And he was kind of strange. He sent me a present after the birds that was either for my birthday or for Christmas, and it was a box, and it was... I opened it and it was a coffin. Inside of the coffin was a miniature of my mother, dressed as she was in the birds. Now, you have another film coming up with Paul Newman. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many people remember that you two worked together before in yeah. The Drowning Pool. Mm -hmm. I was scared to death to work with Paul again, even though I had worked with him before. When I worked with him for the first time, I didn't know anything that I was doing. I just, you know read the line. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just knew my lines and I pretended that I was that person. And he and Joanne were a huge influence on me to, to study. Yeah. And I did. And then 17 years later I got to work with him so I was petrified <laughs> to do it. I was like, oh my God, now I have to show him that I, you know, actually worked on my craft. And it was, I was really like, my knees were clinking for yeah. sure. And I got a question about mm -hmm. movies that hit and miss. And you've had some great successes, and you've had other films that, that haven't done quite as well. Um, I was talking to Brian De Palma uh, about all the publicity that surrounded uh, Bonfire of the Vanities before it opened. Mm -hmm. And he had some second thoughts about the way he would have done certain scenes, about maybe the way the script was written. But that, had a, that film had a lot of hostile reaction before it even opened. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts about that film now? Do you think the press was unfair, or did the film misfire somehow? I think that the, that the press was sort of unfair. I mean, I think um, I remember the studio telling me that they saw the first screening and that it got a great response and it was really well liked. And then all of a sudden, you know, all of this stuff started happening with the press, and, and then it was just chewed up. So I, I mean, I don't know probably could come out tomorrow and be loved, you know, it's just people's perception of things. When you walk out in public now, when you go out to the supermarket or whatever, now that you're doing the cosmetic ads, um, do you feel that you have to dress up or can you still go out pretty much any way you want? I, I pretty much go out any way I want. Most people don't recognize me when I don't have any makeup on or, you know, if I'm in jeans or, you know, shorts or something. Now, I have a question about the Oscars. And you were nominated for Working Girl. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows when you win uh, at the Oscars, you get to keep uh, a statuette. When, when you don't win, what kind of mementos do you keep from they the ceremonies? They give you a, it's like a diploma saying that you were nominated for Best Actress. It's nice, so you do have a memento. It was great seeing Jessica Tandy in this film, you know, mm -hmm. an actress who's had a, a long uh, career. And I was wondering, with your work, because you seem to be hitting your, your peak right now, do you, do you anticipate when you're 60, will you be making movies still? Or My God, I hope so. I hope I'm not hitting my peak yet. <laughs> I hope it's in, a, in a, a few years to come.